Hello. I'm Dan. Hang on. Oh, I'm Dan. This is fan theories. My theory of the Libyan chase scene of Back to the Future. Now, he's thrown a bit differently there. You heard the bully professor on this. That one. Now, now this Marty, in that, uh, in the second timeline, in the lone height, it, it, the first one, it, the one that's been chased on Libyans, is is different. And that's what is is very different. He grew up in a different timeline. That's why because he, he changed a lot. That's why he reacts a lot a lot quicker as well. So, yeah. It's also why the Libyan band didn't stall in the second timeline. Because the Libyans were, were destined, were always destined to crash. Yeah, the Libyans are always destined to crash into that thingy, so it's like self paradoxical prevention. Really. Oh! Yeah, well, that's, that's basically it. It's basically at the same time. Now, now I know in the last video I did about the, the, the enchantment of the sea dance as well. I mentioned about the thing of, um, oh, what's his name? That man who comes, Mark Dixon, cutting in. It's, it's drunk from the thing in, in, in the spiking the punch. Biff spiking the punch. Now, I reckon that's the reason he didn't do it in the first one. Because if he didn't in the first one, George wouldn't have pushed him, really. That's why I didn't do it in the first one, was because because he wasn't drunk enough. Because Biff didn't go to the Enchantment of Sea Dance in the original timeline. So therefore... But the reason for that is because he didn't. He never had any intent to eat... Um, oh, what's his name? That man. Uh, well, well, Marty, really. I mean, that's what he was Calvin Klein. Uh, that's about it, really. That's... All I've to say for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, that's it basically. <laughs> so, my name's Dan, this is Fan Theories, and I'll see you in the future.